You've probably heard of alternate DNS servers and how they can help you in some way or another. But why do you have to do this? Does that even help in any way? What? Yeah, you can use third-party DNS servers which offers a variety of features that your ISP probably doesn't. We've covered third-party DNS servers like OpenDNS and Google DNS servers in the past. But now in this video, we'll show you why you just might want to change your DNS server. While third-party DNS servers may not always be faster than your ISP's DNS servers, they sure are more reliable. If your ISP isn't doing a good job, for instance, if you're seeing lots of page not found errors on your browser, which don't go away even after refreshing the page, you're dealing with a bad DNS server. In such cases, third-party DNS services like OpenDNS and Google DNS can actually increase your internet speed and reliability. The only variable though is the proximity to you. The closer you are to the service, the faster it is. If you have young kids and you want to set up web filtering for them, the easiest way is to change your DNS service on your router to OpenDNS. Once done, you'll be able to configure parental control settings on your OpenDNS website, allowing you to block certain categories of websites. Though, do remember, this method isn't foolproof. Anyone on the network can change their device's DNS server to bypass this filtering. Little kids, I doubt them there. Third-party DNS servers can also help you unblock geo-restricted content. For example, switching to your DNS server, that of a smart DNS proxy, will allow you to access media like Netflix US, Hulu and BBC iPlayer, no matter where you are in the world. Yes, VPN can also do that, but DNS are much faster and reliable. Smart DNS proxy doesn't work well with mobile data though, so it's better to use smart VPN if you're on the go which is a fusion of smart dns and vpn once you turn on the smart vpn you can access hulu netflix us even on your mobile data finally third-party dns servers offer security features that hasn't been implemented by many isp dns servers yet for example two of the most popular attacks include spoofing attacks and denial of service attacks a spoof attack works by redirecting users from legitimate site to a malicious website, while denial of service attack works by sending vast amounts of traffic to a website, thus making it inaccessible to legitimate users. DNSSEC is the de facto solution to these threats, which is supported by Google Public DNS Server. However, most ISPs DNS servers may not yet implement these security features. Overall, switching to a third-party DNS server does provide speed, security, and access to geo-restricted content. Now, those who are keen to know how to change their DNS server, look no further. We've got a bunch of videos on streaming and other devices alike. If you've got any further questions, leave them in the comment section below or check out our FAQs. As always, I'm Vamdian Smart DNS Proxy. Thanks for watching.